there. Well, y'all, it's Monday, and um, today was actually, <clears throat> excuse me, a really good day. Um, as you can probably see from the thumbnail, my tablet case came. Yay! Look at this, y'all. Isn't it beautiful? I love this case. I love it. Look at that. It's so pretty. So, yeah, I'm really happy that it came. Um, I was going to open it up so you can see it. It's like, you know, it's just so much better than that 360 thing. Oh, I could not wait to get that tablet out of th that and put it into this. So, I'm so happy this is here. <clears throat> um... I went out to the um, place that I call the Home Depot today. It's not a Home Depot, but that's what I call it. <laughs> um, because they sell uh, tubes, inner tubes, you know, for your bike tires. So I picked up two so that I can take my bike up there. I didn't take my bike to the shop place today because when I rode past there uh, there were a whole bunch of scooters out front I didn't see anybody actually working on the scooters but there were a lot of them sitting there that looked like they were in the process of being worked on so I thought well you know they're probably really busy and don't have time to do this because that back tire is going to take a little bit of time to do it's it's a bigger process than just the front tire so I thought well maybe I can go up there in the morning and see if they can do it then but I got an extra one because I thought you know it'd be good to have a spare you know just in case so that if I have any troubles or whatever that I've got one already so I got that done and while I was at the um, Home Depot <laughs> uh, I went I was outside and I, I noticed that there was some catnip that grows fresh. So I'm going to stick in a clip right now of the catnip whenever I came home and gave it to the cats. Okay, we're going to see. I don't know. You may be too young yet to get into it. I don't know. Let's see here. <laughs> I don't know if you're into it yet. You may be too young. He's like, what is that? <laughs> Y'all, I gotta sweep this floor. Yeah, you might be too young, Poppy. You may not be into it yet. It's catnip. Are you too young to experience it yet? You might be, because I know little kittens usually can't. They don't, their senses aren't there yet. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I don't think it quite has the same effect on you that it does on Oscar. <laughs> Little cutie. I think he's just playing with it. He's not really getting the effects of it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's natural, like, catnip that grows wild here in Thailand. And you pull it up by the roots, and they go for the roots. They don't go for the leaves. It's the roots that they are after. Not sure that he's quite at the age yet. <laughs> 
All right, hang on one second. Yeah, Oscar, he enjoys it. He's laying on his. <laughs> you enjoying your catnip? Yeah, it's been a while since I had some. I, it's hard to find sometimes. I mean, it just grows wild. So you just have to kind of look for it. But when I went up to the place I call the Home Depot, um, looks like he ate most of those roots off. When I went up to that place I call the Home Depot to buy myself uh, a new inner tube for my bike tire, right next door there was some stuff growing along the side of the fence and saw some over there, so I grabbed a little bit to give to them. But I didn't much think that Poppy would be really into it yet. <laughs> Oscar's like, I know what to do with it. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, I thought I just thought I'd share that. Yeah, um, I looked it up after all that because I was like, you know, I know that kittens generally will not react to catnip. You know, they usually have to be a little bit older. So I looked it up and I saw some conflicting things, which is typical, isn't it always? Um, you look something up and you get this one answer and then you see something that's like totally different. But it said that most cats don't start really reacting until around between eight, five and eight months old. So he's still got a little bit before he, you know, really gets interested in the catnip, but I always like to grab it whenever I see it because it is kind of hard to find sometimes. It's like it grows wild, but you just never know where you might see it. So I was really glad that there was some right there next to the Home Depot. So I just pulled it up out of the ground and threw it in my basket. So, <laughs> And Oscar knew as soon as I came in the door, he was like, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> he was ready for it. So, um so I always like to do that. I always like to, to bring that home whenever I can because th usually they love it. Well, Biscuit loved it. Oscar loves it. Lightning does. And Poppy may at some point, but he may not because they say that, you know, not all cats really, you know, are interested in it. Some will be and some won't be. So who knows what he'll do once he's old enough. But anyway, um, also today, this morning, um, I looked out and I saw my little hen friend. I guess I'm going to call her Hattie. I just, I was going to call her something else. And I just, I don't know, Hattie just keeps coming up in my head. So Hattie the hen, um, <laughs> I saw that she was out there. So I started talking to her through the windows like, good morning. And I was telling her, you know, hello and all this kind of stuff, and she jumped up in my bike basket, so I waited a little while, and I went out, and sure as a world, she'd left me another egg out there, so I had four total, and I decided, all right, I need to know for sure how to tell whether these are fertilized eggs or not, so I was looking it up. I looked it up the other day, but I started looking a little deeper today, because I was like, okay, I need to know what the deal is, because I've never done anything like this before. I've just always gone to the store, bought eggs, and brought them home and used them. So this is totally different. <laughs> so when I looked it up, it said that, you know, people can eat fertilized eggs and that, you know, sometimes, um, you know, occasionally you can end up with a fertilized egg in a supermarket, but it's rare because most supermarkets buy their you know, get all their eggs from someplace where the hens don't mate or anything like that. It's just, you know, the natural process of them laying eggs. But, um, but it said it was perfectly fine even if they were. But I watched some videos where people were showing you how to use the flashlight to look through and to inspect it and see whether it was fertilized or not. And so I watched quite a few of those <laughs> and did some reading on it as well and um, got my flashlight and I kept looking and I kept you know watching the videos and looking and I'm like yeah these look like they're not fertilized they look like just regular eggs that you could just eat 
So I decided since I had four of them that I was going to go buy me some bread and make some deviled egg sandwiches, which a lot of people would call that, you know, egg salad sandwich. You know, it's like just an egg salad or whatever. So I made it the way that, you know, we always had them growing up. My mom, she would just boil the eggs, then mush them all up, and then put some mustard and some mayonnaise in there, salt and pepper, and just mix it all up, and that was it. So that's what I did. I fixed me some deviled egg sandwiches, and they were really good. I was like, wow, you know, and, and it just made me feel so good when I was eating it to know that, you know, all this time that I've been feeding these roosters and hens out here and those little baby chicks and everything, you know, I never dreamed that they were going to give a gift back to me. And I'm just like, wow, you know, that is so awesome that I fed them and now they're feeding me with the gift of these eggs. And I, it just, it, I don't know, to me it's just very special and it means a lot. It really does. It just, it's very touching to me that, I mean, she could lay those eggs anywhere. Because like I was mentioning in my other video, she does not live here. She's not my hen. She belongs to people across the street. But they all come over here and I feed them every day. And... So, you know, she lives over there. She could, there's tons and tons of places over there that she could be laying her eggs. But where does she come? She comes and lays them in my bike basket and leaves them for me. And I just think that is amazing. So, so yeah, I was really happy to, to enjoy those sandwiches today. And, and I felt like, you know, the eggs were given to me in love. And I was, you know bringing that in and I don't know it just was wonderful <laughs> so I was really happy about that and um, oh and uh, with the bicycle tire thing because I had ordered those tubeless tires and when I got them I was like oh dear they're not gonna work so I had put in for the refund and everything and the people actually messaged me and said you know you know we accept the refund you know we'll, we'll do that return and everything so I you know you set it up through Lazada it's got a little thing where you can have you can have them come and pick them up and it's free of charge you don't have to pay to ship them back or anything so it said flash was coming to pick pick it up sometime between now and the 27th or 28th of February I was like oh my god um, I was thinking, okay, that's a big window of time, and, you know, what am I supposed to do, sit around and wait every day? But t luckily today, the phone rang, and it was them, and they were coming to get it, so they came and got it, and the guy scans it, you know, he's got like a little thing, and he scans it, and he takes it, and then I came in to check, you know, to, to see if it had registered on there as being picked up. And it said it had, and they already issued the refund. I was like, really? They put it on my Lazada wallet because since I pay cash on delivery, they don't give you back cash. So it goes on the Lazada wallet, and then you've got money there that you can spend on other stuff. You know, when you order things, you know, if, if you have enough in your wallet, you can pay for it with that. So... They went ahead and issued me the refund before it even got back to the seller. So I was like, wow, that's pretty dang cool. <laughs> so that was really surprising because I've, I've had to do a couple of re returns before. And usually you have to wait until it gets all the way back there. They have to inspect it and then approve it, I guess. And then it usually takes between like, 24 to 48 hours or something before you actually get your refund so it can take days and days but this was instant I mean as soon as the guy picked it up and scanned it and everything they went ahead and refunded my money so I was like wow oh and I did go ahead and order myself two spoons and two forks they sold them in a set they're still too big but I kept searching, y'all. I searched and searched, trying to find just a normal teaspoon, like you use for your coffee. 
Couldn't find them anywhere. And they literally go from like between 13 to 14 centimeters long to like, you know, 18, 20 centimeters long, you know, up, way up. These are like 18 and a half centimeters. So they're definitely much, much bigger. But they're those rainbow looking kind, which I've seen those for a long time, but I've never had one. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that because it's stainless steel. So it's like real, you know, fork and a spoon. Because <laughs> I'm very limited, y'all. I, I really don't have like silverware. So I've only got a couple of things. So um, I thought, you know, I would like to get these. And they were only 59 bought. And then I had discounts and everything. So I think altogether for two spoons and two forks, I'm paying like $3 with the shipping for everything because um, I only ordered, I'd ordered two sets. And it comes in a set of a fork and a spoon. But anyway, but that's not bad for stainless steel and for that little rainbow looking color because I just think that would be awesome because <laughs> I've just never had any, but I've seen them. My sister has some of those, and she's shown me pictures of it. I'm like, God, those are just so pretty, and I'd love to have some of those. So I figured I'm just going to get them because I really am. I don't have much silverware, y'all. I got, I got practically nothing in here. So, <laughs> so you know, it's nice to have you know a few things of each because you know if I have Jackie over at some point, you know, I'd like to be able to have multiple pieces of silverware because you might be using some to serve with and then some to eat with and you know what I mean so you know it's, it's nice to have more than just two of each of everything and this way I'll have like three of each or something <laughs> so yeah I don't have a lot but anyway but most of the time it's okay because it's just me here so I, it's not a big deal so as you can see, I'm sitting in my little kitchen little area. I just thought it'd be nice since the sun hadn't gone down yet. That you can just like see the view out there and listen to the scooters and the motorcycles and whatever. But <laughs> um, I can't remember if there's anything else that I was going to talk about. I mean, I was just, you know, excited about the egg gift today and then being able to make those sandwiches and getting my tubes for the bike tires and I'm only going to have them put one on because it's not been that long since I had the front one done so I'm just going to have them do the back but I think I'm going to ask them to do a little maintenance on that bike because I swear it's, it's starting to make a little clicky clunky kind of a sound again and I'm like please don't tell me it's that bottom bracket again Cause I mean, wasn't that like November when I had the bottom bracket replaced? So it should not be that. And I don't know, maybe it's just, you know, some things need to be tightened up or something, but I'm going to ask them if they can kind of do an overall maintenance on it. Cause I know my brakes need adjustment because it's like, I have to really squeeze hard for it to start slowing down. So I don't know. I, I might need to, check my uh, brake pads or something because I might need some new brake pads. But hopefully they can do all that up there. I mean, it's a scooter repair shop, but they do work on bicycles as well. So you know, that's where I've gone before. They're the ones that did the bottom bracket. So I might mention to them, you know, hey, this is making some noise again. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, I hope they put enough grease in there because there's like these ball bearing type things and stuff in there. And you're supposed to pack them with grease, you know, so that they have good lubrication when you're pedaling and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just hoping they packed it with enough grease and it's not like kind of worn down or something. But anyway, but hopefully tomorrow, if the weather's nice and everything, I'll be able to take it up there and at the very least get them to maybe replace that back tire tube but hopefully get them to do a little maintenance on the rest of it too because I mean you know with this being my mode of transportation and using it all the time I really need it to be you know in good working order because I rely on that thing 
So, unfortunately, the place that I go to is not real far. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of a walk, but I've had to walk my bike there before when I had a flat tire that was just totally flat, and you could pump it all the way up with air, and within a minute, all the air was gone because the, it, it was just busted. You know, the inner tube was busted. So I've had to walk the bike to that shop to get it repaired. So it's not that big of a deal, you know, to do that. But I'd rather take it up there when I don't have to walk it and I can just ride up there. But today, you know, I put some more air in the tire because it was a little bit low. It wasn't flat, but there's definitely a slow leak. And so I don't know if it's the valve on there that's leaking the air or if there's an actual hole in the tire, you know, in the tube or something. But definitely it's leaking, so gonna have to fix it. But anyway, I should probably stop rambling on because um, I forgot to empty the trash on my tablet because I try to delete all these videos once I upload them onto Lube Tube. <laughs> onto YouTube when I upload them. I try to delete them and everything so that it's not taking up all the space on my tablet, but I forgot to empty the trash because it's dumb. I mean, it's really dumb. It's like, you know, you delete all this stuff and you're like, wow, I've cleaned out all this space, but it's sitting in your trash. So it's still taking up all that space. So you have to actually empty that out or else, you know, what you did is basically just moving this big pile to this, you know, right over here, and it's still a big pile. So. <laughs> but anyway, um, I did not make my ASMR video last night, so I'm going to try to do it tonight. I, I could have last night. It was actually super quiet, perfect time to make one, and I just completely did not do it. I was way too tired last night, and I just thought, I cannot stay awake to do this and be up for hours. So I just said, no, I'm going to hopefully try tomorrow night. But it's Monday. And for some reason, concerts seem to happen on Mondays, which I don't know why. So I'm hoping not because I'd really like to try to get my video made tonight. So anyway, y'all, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody. And I will see you later.